Hello everyone, it's Damon with Living in the OC, a local realtor and investor here with mom, Cynthia. Hi everybody. We're back again and Damon and I have been talking about uh, one of the things that we should discuss is for many people, it's very important what the school system is like in an area that you're going to move for. So people that are considering coming to California, we want to give you some ideas and pointers and suggestions. It's Dave. a huge consideration sure. when, when you're going to anywhere you move. Absolutely. You know, if you're a family person and have kids and you're thinking about moving to a new area, it's absolutely a top consideration. Yes. And Damon is a realtor, uh, obviously uh, is involved with buying and selling. We have our own joint company, which is involved with buying, selling, renovating uh, homes. We can pay cash. We can help you rewrite loans. We would really like to work with you if you're in California and relocating, or if you're in another state and want to come to California, we would really love to work with you and talk with you. All of our contact information is below if you want to get a hold of us via call, text, email, Zoom, whatever you want to do. It's all below there. I was thinking uh, as I was talking to Damon about this, that there are sort of three areas that might be an important way to break this down. Obviously, we can give you some of the ranking of which are the best rated schools in uh, our Southern California area, but also it's whether your students are, uh, if athletics is a huge thing, you have a, a son or daughter who wants to go on and play college sports or has some particular athletic ability, or if they are more math, science, oriented and we even have one just amazing school that we'll talk to you about for uh, a huge emphasis on all of the arts again you know we pull a lot of this stuff off the internet and i've discussed how we like using chat gpt so the first thing we're going to do is just kind of go over this list we're going to focus on high schools we don't have enough time to talk about elementary right. and middle schools in a half hour clip so we're just plus there are public and then there are private so we'll spend a little time on each of those as well this first list is a combined list and then i thought after we go through this we can talk about uh some of the private schools maybe in a, a little bit we more. have a couple of very famous ones here in orange county that's for sure yeah and as i've joked around before i went to public school pretty much all the way well you were in a private school all the way okay, till fourth uh, up, grade. up until fourth grade. And then you were in public school from then on. And your older brother uh, went starting in high school, went to a private school. So we have a, we have a mix of experience with, with both of them. Uh, the one that is ranked number one is, is Oxford Academy. It's in Cyprus, which is a little bit East and uh, it's known not only for its it's actually West, but is it west cyprus is west of us yeah cyprus okay yeah it's west from us yeah okay All right. yeah it's uh funny uh, when i pulled this list up i've actually never heard of the school <laughs> just, you know we've lived here a long time and it's way up on the list i've actually never heard of it but it ranks number one and on a bunch of the the uh, different forums so and it's apparently one of the top schools not only in california but in the nation right the next one is called troy high school it's in fullerton it's, and yeah. i used to work in a in a dental office years ago in fullerton and many of the very excellent students and heard rave reviews uh about it because it it focuses on what they call the stem s-t-e-m program and that stands for science technique technology and Engineering, engineering and mathematics and math. so it's that math science orientation so somebody that wants to go into computers or uh, engineering uh, physics 
that kind of thing. And if you get really good grades coming out of Troy High School, uh, you have a very good chance of getting into most universities. And they're also known for their AP program, where you can be taking, if you qualify, you can be taking AP classes, advanced placement, where you're actually doing university level courses and getting college credits while you're in high school, you're, I think your junior and senior year. Right. Um, and so it's a very competitive, excellent school. But if you have a, a, a really academically successful high school student who has a particular math science direction and you are moving to California, you might think about looking for a house in Fullerton because uh, Troy is a, a wonderful school. I actually had a classmate that I went to junior high school with and he started, I went to Canyon High School in Anaheim Hills. I got a great education for a public school, but he went there for like, I want to say his freshman and maybe into sophomore year. And then he transferred to Troy for specifically what you're talking about, because yes. he was so good uh, with engineering and math and whatnot. That's what he wanted to focus on to get into a really good school. So that's where yes. he ended up transferring over to Troy. Yes. Um, and then University High School, which is in Irvine, is almost the uh, feeding pool for UCI because um, there are so many students that have, again, this math science orientation and UCI is very it's famous. Really well known. Well known for that. So many, many people move specifically to Irvine. I actually had a couple of classmates from Red Hill. I went to Red Hill Lutheran until fourth grade that ended up at university because okay. Red Hill is in Tustin. So, okay. So they went on that, which is a grade school through the eighth grade. Right. CDM is the next on the list. Corona Del Mar high school, very, very strong academic program there. Uh, it's very well known that comes in pretty high in the rankings as well as Irvine high school. Sure. Uni and Irvine are the two high schools in Irvine. And the next on that list is also in Irvine. A bunch of schools in Irvine. A really uh, popular place for, for good education. Northwood High School. Is also famous for its AP classes, just the way Troy High School is in Fullerton. Yes. And then if you go, if you're going south, I think I have this right. Yeah, yeah. Kind of right. You know, so Laguna <laughs> Beach is next on the list. Yes. Uh, it's got a bigger emphasis on arts and music. So if sure. you're someone who wants to go on and do anything in that field of drawing and art history and archaeology, music and what have you, Laguna Beach has the Pageant of the Masters, the Sawdust Festival. As a matter of fact, we were talking about that. We'll probably go down there in the next few weeks and, and do one of our videos down there to show you how amazing that little artistic colony is and so if you have a child that you think has that you know special talent in those areas that's a great area to live i was just thinking a funny little side note on laguna beach our channel is named after the oc show and if i remember correctly I'm thinking of the one that was on MTV, but I think they all those kids went to Laguna Beach High School yes. in that show. Yes. yes. It was like one of those reality shows. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I think they all went to Laguna Beach High. And Jay Sarah's famous. That's a fair, very, very popular school here after Juniper Sarah. Yes. And that one is uh, a private Catholic school. Yeah. As well as the one that's ranked number nine is modern day if my brother were here he would boo right now <laughs> he boo. went to Servite, which is a, a competitive school modern day is popular academically as well as athletically i think they have more heisman trophy winners out of uh they modern have, day three three we talked about it on an earlier video yes they have three heisman trophy winners from their football program so people actually move here if they have a someone, especially football, they have other good programs athletically there. But if you have a son, especially who is interested in, in playing football, uh, modern day is just an amazing school. Uh, and the, the reason that a lot of the young people like it, 
uh, versus Servite, which is also a strong, strong school, uh, is that it's co-ed. Right. So whereas they're... Servite is an all boys school. So there are good things and bad things, I suppose, about that. Right. Um, but they still have social activities, cheerleaders and what have you at Servite come from Rosary and they do all of their dances and exchanges and things with Rosary High School, which is a girls private Catholic school, an excellent, excellent school. Sometimes you want to maybe keep a daughter or a son in a in school where they can really just focus on, on schooling. And it's probably a smart idea at that age uh, to let them focus on getting their grades and doing whatever is their specific talent. Uh, and they have been well known and renowned here in Orange County. As we were looking at the list, uh, actually we'll, we'll talk about it briefly. Uh, there used to be another sister school that we had on the list uh, that has since closed down. Which is Connolly. Uh, yes. Cornelia Connolly High School. So back when my brother was at Servite, they used to do all of their dances and formals with Rosary and Connolly. And since 2020, I guess, uh, Connolly shut down through the pandemic. Yes. Yes. Amazing. So now Rosary is the only all girls, all girls school. school. Yeah. Yes. And then the last one, it's known for not your normal teaching methods, more the kind of a Socratic method and that kind of thing and participation programs, which is at Beckman High School, also in Irvine. So for someone who maybe is more uh, interested in literature, polit political things, uh, uh, history, that kind of thing that might be the school that you would want to look into. I think chat GPT is a little biased for the schools are from Irvine <laughs> on our well, top 10 list. Yes. It seems a little biased to me. But it's also a very wonderful area, a wonderful place to live. Uh, we have told you about, um, we finally got a condo that we're renovating and it is down in uh, Laguna, Laguna Woods. Woods, in the Irvine, Laguna Woods area. And um, the growth down there has been just amazing. Simply amazing. Do we want to go over the private school list quickly? I, we can. We can, sure. Uh, some of them I'm not too familiar with. Number one is St. Margaret's Episp Episcopal School in San Juan Capistrano, known for rigorous academic, strong sense of community, emphasis and character development. Offers a wide range of extracurricular activities and college prep curriculum. Yeah, the, the second one I, I'm not familiar with either. It must be a smaller school. Sage, Sage Hill School on the Newport Coast. Interesting. Looks like it's pairing students for academic success, success personal growth. It's again more creative, is a more creative school, um, writing, that kind of thing. Not so much from the math science uh curriculum so we mentioned j sarah already we talked about conley closing you want to talk about the next one there yes this one i'm very familiar with it's here in santa Ana, where i live and it's a very very popular school sometimes in our world today with computers and all the technology what if you have a child who is just amazingly talented at playing the piano or dancing or voice or writing music. This is the place because they do take their other normal academic classes, but their huge emphasis is on the arts. And it's called the Orange County School of Arts and it's in Santa Ana. Uh, it's very popular. And many of the uh, young people there may go back to New York. They are um, people that are on the stage uh, like doing go to Juilliard or something like yes, that. Yes, go on to Juilliard, go on to be on the uh, doing plays and that kind of thing. Mm -hmm. Because not everybody, you know, it takes a village. Not everybody yeah. needs to be a pilot or, a, you know, astronaut or <laughs> mm -hmm. physicist or whatever. We need all the different varieties of talents. And so to me, I think it's extremely important today, especially where you put your child in an environment 
where they can excel and they're doing what they love. It always used to astound me that let's say you have a, your child gets wonderful grades and gets a D in math. So what do you do? You make them spend a lot of time studying math when obviously that's not where that child's passionate about. talent lies right. and so what you do is you help them get through that class get them get them to know what they need to know but let them focus on what they love and w which direction they want to go and we have a lot like of me with geometry <laughs> i hated geometry I remember class. that i know yes i couldn't stand it and i also didn't like pre-calculus either well you got through it though you got through it yeah. yes and you needed all that for statistics when you Actually, went to business school. Actually, it was trigonometry and pre-calc that I didn't like either, but I love calculus when I took it right. in college. Well, because there is the class that takes all of those previous courses and weaves them all together so that you can actually utilize the numbers and the mathematics. So without the stepping stones, you wouldn't have been able to get through calculus. Gramps said that that was one of his favorite, favorite courses ever that he ever classes. took. And, yes. and I agree with him. I ended up funny, quick story. I took it at a local JC and we're not going to really talk about the JCs or universities too much. Which on, we on... have in California. Not many other states have a junior college program and it's so expensive. To yeah. go to the university, even to the state schools now, that it's kind of smart to maybe go and experiment, take a lot of classes. You decide you don't like this, or you thought that was going to be your major, and then you change your mind. You can't waste classes when you're spending a fortune for every unit that you take. So in California, we have wonderful here in Orange County. We have Santa Ana, and down in. Um, the orange, what's the one on Chapman Avenue? That campus is it? Well, that's right? what I'm talking about. Yeah. That's where I went to that's school. That's where you went. And to that take was that. once part of Santa Ana JC. It was Rancho Santiago, Diago. something mm -hmm. or other at the time. Mm -hmm. And as I was mentioning, I took a calculus class there because, in, as prerequisites to get into the business school, I had to have all these math classes done. And I, well, let me give you a quick little side note there. I recommend if you're going to go into business school, don't take a year off like I did senior year of high school. I decided I'm not going to take math senior year because I wasn't required to. And it came back to bite Thank me you. because Oops. I needed it once I got into school, uh, college. I then had to kind of repeat a little bit my freshman year. So to play catch up, I took that calculus course summer school at that junior college and it was honestly one of the best math classes i ever took right and interestingly i took one class there and i was probably decades older than any of the other students the professor loved me because i actually did the homework i had read the book before the class started on on writing movie scripts because Damon's brother, who is the one who does a lot of our filming and editing and what have you, went to film school at USC. And uh, one of me- Is there any movie producers out there? Call them. <laughs> I had the most fun at that class at Santiago right. Junior College. Unbelievable. And the man who taught it all, Dr. Fred Martin, and he wrote for what was the uh dr fred martin if you're out there and still hi. alive if mom <laughs> says hi and call mom she uh, wants to get caught up there was um uh he wrote for what was it called dynasty is that the I one that's, that did uh, jr uh, yes it was dynasty dynasty that's he right. was one of the writers for dynasty I remember that so it was a fabulous fun interesting you know class to take so anyway got off your story that you were starting to tell no, we were just talking about um, the different courses you can take. Uh, but hey, where, where were we on our list? Um, so we touched on, we were at the, on the Orange County School of Arts. Yes. We touched on Modern Day already. RSM is huge. Rancho Santa Margarita is another private school. Excellent football program. Yes. Uh, yes. They're competitive every year uh, with the Servites and the Modern Days. That's where Carson Palmer went to school. Exactly. Yeah. One of yes. SC's Heisman Trophy winners. Yes. Went there. Uh, you know Fairmont, right? You were, we were mentioning, talking about Fairmont before. Yes. It's a prep school. 
uh, pretty much a college prep. One of the things that we may have to get to the point in our education of high school students, when I went to high school, there was a, um, a liberal arts or a manual arts rather school uh -huh. that if you did not want to go on to the university, everything was kind of college prep. But what if you didn't have the interest or the money to go on to university? So they had at that time uh, manual arts and you could learn electrical, plumbing, auto mechanics, bricklaying, all those kinds of things. I've always thought that we need high schools that when you graduate, you are either going on to prepare for something in the future that'll be a talent or you've graduated and you have enough preparation to take care of yourself in life. It's one of the things that bothers me with education, which is why we're talking about schools, where you put your child in high school is a very big decision. Um, and the other thing is there are a lot of arguing things going on right now about curricula. Parents are starting to get upset about political and social focus that they're now taking children out of public right. schools and putting them into more private schools. Let's touch on that after we finish our list, because I do want to expand on that for a minute. So we have um, a couple left that I'm really not that familiar with here. Korean Lutheran High School in Irvine. I'm not I'm not familiar with that one. I'm, I should be, but it says it's a strong Christian school, uh, challenging academics and extracurricular opportunities. Well, one of the things... I've heard of Pacific, though. Pacific Academy is the last one that they mentioned. One of the things that I thought was important, which is why I had both my two sons mm -hmm. go to a a private Christian school mm -hmm. uh, starting out is that I think in our country today, and this is just my opinion, I think we're becoming off track in so many areas with with families and our economics and education. And I think it's because we're taking God out of everything, out of classrooms and families. And it's my personal opinion, but I think children need to have some kind of guidance in terms of what is right and wrong to help them understand that they will make fewer mistakes that will put them on a course, the wrong course, that they can get into trouble. I think I, for me, for my family, my sons, that was important. And that's becoming difficult to be able to even talk about any of that in, in schools today. Well, interesting. My son just turned six, but he goes to a public school right now and he's really big on saying the Pledge of Allegiance. Yes. And at one point they were trying to take the God part, one nation under God, right. indivisible. They were trying to take the God part out of the Pledge of Allegiance. Right. So there I, it is. I think, I think, I've always believed this, that we're born with a certain soul that needs to unfold. His little boy, anytime he goes out to dinner, insists on wearing a sports coat. Six years old, wants a tie, wants to be... We call it his gentleman's his jacket. His gentleman's jacket. And he's been asked now to be uh, the ring bearer in a wedding. And he's going to be thrilled to wear a tuxedo. He's to wear his first, first tuxedo. Yeah. <laughs> so there are life experiences, you know, for you. But this is just an overview for you of the importance of where you live. If you can select it and you have high school students, junior high, high school students, these are some of the schools that we know are excellent schools in California that can help a college bound student head in the right direction. Uh, so look them up on your websites and, uh, and give us a call. Yeah, but going, um, going back to what you were talking about, um, the, the, the God aspect of it, I think that's why we put this list of the Catholic schools because they're, they do make it a requirement. So you know full well when you put your child into a Catholic school, most of them are Catholic. There are a couple on there that are not Catholic, but a private school, let's say, 
they're going to be able because they're private to add that religious you element. take a religious class every semester and you study the tenets of the bible which tend to be really many of the other religions in the world have the same tenets love one another be kind be helpful serve and i just remember that when your brother was at servite uh, a very huge portion of the students, the boys that were at the school, came from many different ethnicities. And not all of them, your brother Chandler was not Catholic, but you can still understand the tenets of faith and respect them and learn those as a way to live your life and make your decisions so yeah definitely the only one that i left off that list because they left a couple off there uh oh lou's the, the other one orange, orange lutheran. lutheran another really good uh private it's, school it's in, in orange, orange the city of orange yes uh, uh, for another private school option but um i don't think that having uh I think having God as part of your daily routine is a good thing. And uh, I guess we can, uh, this guy came up, um, I'm trying to remember how I even found out. Funny enough, he has, oh, he was on the Ed Milet's, uh podcast. He was interviewed. Is, is how I found him. And he happens to have your same the name. same name that I do, first name Damon. His last name is West, uh, Damon West. Really, really interesting guy. If you have time, go on to Ed Milet's podcast. His whole thing is this talk about being, uh, the whole talk is about being like a coffee bean uh, based off of his experience. We could talk about him for 10 minutes. It's such a fascinating story, but he has a quote that I love that he says every day. And I, th I, I think we'll all say Just it end with this, sure. Yeah, so he says it's his morning prayer that he's had, he's prayed every day since he learned it. And he, he's a recovering drug addict. It's the most unbelievable thing. He got into drugs. He was the starting quarterback at North Texas University, had a huge drug problem, got to, he was so desperate that he got to the point where he was stealing things out of people's homes. His friends. He got caught parents, robbing actually. someone's house in yes. his neighborhood. Yes. Was convicted of it, spent seven years in the Texas State Penitentiary. Yes. And that's where his whole story of being like a coffee bean comes in. And I think if you can, Google Damon West. He's a great guy. I've actually spoken with him. He's all over the country now doing motivational speaking. As a matter of fact, he's actually going to be on a, on a TED talk. Oh, uh, he's, I didn't know that. He's really blowing up. Uh, Dabo Sweeney, the head coach of Clemson, really helped him get some national exposure. Yes. And so anyway. He came in and talked to the, to the players as a motivational speaker. He, talks, he goes and talks to the top football programs all over the country now mm -hmm. to talk to these young men about even yes we we try to line ourselves up for success but even when we have those stumbling blocks and we screw up and everyone mm -hmm. has ups and downs in life he's this unbelievable example of how god has used him to put his message out there so anyway his message is prayer that he says every morning god put in front of me what you need me to do today for you and let me recognize it when i see it i thought wow that is just yes. unbelievably deep that's our challenge is that each of us do the best we can every day we each have different gifts different ethnicities different cultures different languages different foods different music and i love that uh, i i think not that I think that we, that I'm a separatist or anything. My mother was Romanian. My dad was German, had so many different things that they brought to our families. I think it's just, it's simply wonderful. And the more that we learn, the more we educate, the more we try to do the right thing and reach out when you need help with something, get the right answers, the better your chances are of heading down the direction 
and the climb that you want to have in your life. So we'll just see you next week. This one's been fun. We're having a good time with these. We are. So, as we mentioned before, all the contact information is below. You can reach us any way that you want to. Give us a call, shoot us a text, send us an email, set up that Zoom call. We have that feature available if you want to do a video chat with us. That's available as well. Right. We want to say thank you, guys. Uh, our numbers are increasing to grow. As we speak, we are over 82,000 subscribers. Amazing. So mom needs to keep getting her hair done every week to look good. Absolutely. <laughs> to, to look good on camera. But no, we thank you guys so much. Uh, it's been a, an honor and a privilege. Uh, and fun to meet you. And uh, we, and one of the things that we really enjoy is you giving us feedback for things that you're interested in and learning about Orange County. And it's been very interesting, even though our focus is Damon is in real estate and I am in design work uh, so that we're able to purchase and rehab and sell homes and help people that need assistance with, with their property. Um, it's just become a very fun and interesting pathway for us and this is one of the reasons that we've done this on schooling is that we're listening to you and we needed to do this particular uh, video about how to choose the right area to live when you have children that need those special classes and courses that they will help them move along. I think you just touched on a really insightful point too. I think we would all be better off if we listened a lot more and spoke less, <laughs> you know? There, yes. It seems like in the news today, too many people are just angry. There's just a lot of angry people out there. Yes. If we times stop are, times are hating difficult. on each other and actually tried to listen a little bit more, I think we'd all be a little bit better off. That's my opinion. Amen. Okay, we'll see you guys next week. See you next week. This one's been fun. God bless. Bye-bye.